Three Ways to Grow Your Facebook Group Fast Facebook groups don't typically grow as quickly as Facebook pages. But that's not to say that you shouldn't be trying to encourage new members on board. The key is to focus on the quality of these interactions and the engagement, yes, but that doesn't mean you can't have quantity as well. So how do you grow your Facebook group? There are countless strategies out there, but many of these are unexciting and will only yield minor results. Growth hacks, on the other hand, can make a big difference. Listen up and we'll go over three of the best. 1. Include a widget on your site. Too many businesses seem to think it's okay to place a link to their Facebook group, page, or whatever else on their website and then leave it at that. They assume people will just magically stumble on it. In reality, if you want to be successful, then you need to feature your group much more prominently. One way to do this, add a widget to your blog. This can show conversations from the group, demonstrating the kind of thing that happens there and showing off just how interesting the discussion is. This can lead to a huge conversion of visitors into group members. 2. Incentivize Another option that often gets overlooked when it comes to groups, but is common for other forms of marketing, is to incentivize your Facebook group. This means giving people a reason to sign up other than signing up for its own sake. For example, you might offer to give your new members some kind of exclusive content. You might provide a free ebook, or you might give them privileged access to your order form before anyone else when you announce your next new product. The genius of this last option is that you've actually made them excited to receive advertising. 3. AMAs An AMA is an Ask Me Anything. The term was popularized on Reddit, but it can apply to just about any type of social site. This is also just one example of the type of unique content that you can provide to your group in order to get people truly excited. You can provide an AMA by answering questions. And if you have done a good job with your own personal brand, then this might be enough to get people on board. Better yet, though, how about getting a celebrity in your niche to stop by? If you can do that, you'll find you can get a huge portion of your audience to sign up right away. 5 Best Practices for Managing a Facebook Group Managing a Facebook group is a little unlike creating a Facebook page or a blog. While those are examples of owned media, things your company built and owns in their entirety, Facebook groups are a little more complex. These are organic and ever-evolving creations that have multiple creators. Every member is able to add to the content on a Facebook group, and that means it will constantly change in terms of what's available and what the overall tone is. And at the same time, those members are a part of the very fabric of the group. In a way, therefore, you become responsible for them. So how can you make sure you are managing your group well, such that it doesn't grow out of your control, and such that everyone in it is happy and well taken care of? 1. Set Rules Facebook groups have the option to create rules, and this is a great way to ensure that people know what they can and cannot post, and how they should react to others. Of course, you might still get the occasional wayward member, but this way you can at least outline what you can expect of your community. 2. Set the right tone The types of things you post and the way you react to others will in many ways inform the way that your group members behave. If you are always kind and courteous, then hopefully you'll find that your members are as well. 3. Read the rules Facebook has a lot of trouble with fake news and echo chambers in recent years, and so the company is now coming down hard on groups that aren't careful to control this. Make sure that you know what Facebook expects of you by reading the guidelines provided here. Facebook.com slash community standards. 4. Set moderators. As your group grows, hopefully, you will find that it's impossible to keep track of everything that happens on your own. Therefore, it is a good idea and nearly an absolute requirement that you set moderators. These are users that have additional responsibilities and privileges who are able to approve posts and members who are able to delete comments and ban users. 5. Respect your members Finally, make sure you respect your members. That means treating them well in the comments, but it also means making sure you don't inundate their news feeds with ads and promotions. 5 Mistakes Facebook Group Owners Make there are countless businesses out there that are trying but failing at Facebook groups. The same goes for pages and just about every other marketing option out there. 
Let's face it, a lot of businesses are a little out of touch when it comes to making the most of the web to engage with their audience. If you've been running a Facebook group for years to no avail, then here's what you need to fix to change all that. 1. Not providing value. The number one worst thing that a lot of businesses do on Facebook groups, and just about every other form of social media, is to post only advertorial content. They might post things like, Have you tried the latest new feature of X software? We are the top rated small business in the X area. These posts provide zero value for the end user, and there's no reason for them to read them. Others will post about new updates and changes to their service. The only person that's interesting to is someone who's already using what you've built. 2. Not being consistent Consistency is key to success in just about every area of life. It's fundamental when it comes to your success on Facebook groups, but a lack of consistency makes your group seem like a ghost town. Post twice a day, if at all possible. 3. Not talking about the group Even if yours is a secret group, you still want people to join, and simply having a link in the bottom corner of your website is not going to cut it. Instead, then, if you want people to sign up, then you need to make sure you are mentioning your group at every opportunity. Mention it in your blog posts, in your videos, and on other social media. 4. Not making it look interesting If you have a dull logo, a boring description, and a lack of unique content, then why would anyone want to sign up? Even if your business is in a dry B2B industry, find an interesting angle for your group. 5. Having the wrong settings It's a simple mistake, but if you don't know how to set up your settings, you might be inadvertently losing out on potential members. Make sure that you don't need to approve new members and make sure that your group is discoverable. 5 Reasons Why Your Business Needs a Facebook Group A Facebook group is something your business might not have considered. Many companies will stop once they've built a Facebook page for their brand and call it a day. That's a mistake, though, given that a Facebook group can be an extremely useful way to get people to engage more fully with your brand. In this presentation, we'll look at five reasons that your business needs a Facebook page. 1. It gives you a highly targeted audience. The people who join your Facebook group will do so because they are interested in the topics you are talking about and or because they like your brand. Either way, this is now a captive audience, a group of people with the right interests that you can message whenever you like. The marketing potential is huge. 2. It can run itself. Not sure if you have time to run another social media page? Good news is that you don't need to. With a Facebook group, you can either set members as administrators, giving them the ability to approve posts, remove users, etc. This not only rewards those loyal members and gains even more trust and loyalty, but it also removes a big job from you and means your group will be self-sustaining. 3. It massively increases engagement While pages can be used like a megaphone, a group is more like a campfire where you can discuss things with friends and like-minded individuals. This is a great way to build a much more engaged audience that feels like they know you personally. Four. It's great for feedback. A Facebook group can be a very useful tool for market research, feedback, and even ideas for future content and products. Many companies spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on people with clipboards who go around conducting surveys for them. With your own Facebook group and the handy poll feature, you can do all that yourself without spending a dime. 5. You can use it as an incentive. A Facebook group is a great way to give back to your loyal audience. What's more is that it can act as an incentive. For example, you can run a promotion on your site where the first prize is being invited to the exclusive VIPs club. People love joining secret clubs, and this is a brilliant way to leverage that impulse. 5 Top Uses for Facebook Groups in Business Facebook groups are immensely useful for businesses, and not just in the obvious way you probably already expect. In fact, Facebook groups have so many amazing applications that just about every business should have one. In this presentation, we'll look at five ways businesses use these groups and why you should do. 1. Exclusive Members Club One of the most common ways to see a Facebook group used is similar to the way a Facebook page is used. 
This is the way for your fans and customers to follow your brand and get more from you. As they do, you'll be given a way to contact them and promote products and services for profit. Win-win. Facebook groups work just the same, but are a little more exclusive and private. While they aren't as easy to promote, they encourage the creation of authentic communities, which is amazing for increasing engagement. 2. Go-to-market strategy A group can essentially run itself once you have enough members and a few moderators. Therefore, you might choose to create a few groups within your niche, leave them to flourish over time, and then have them for marketing once you need them. 3. Internal business management You can use a group as an entirely internal tool. While Facebook actually makes a separate product for this, called Workspace, groups provide a perfectly functional way for a company to keep track of what a certain department is doing or to discuss a given project. 4. Online Courses You'll have the option to change your Facebook group's type if you so wish. Unfortunately, most of these types are not that applicable to businesses. The one that is, though, is social learning. This lets you post lessons which your followers can then take. This is a brilliant way to create a service or product that you can then sell through other platforms. 5. Market Research Finally, you can use your Facebook group to conduct market research and learn more about your audience and the types of content and products they want to see from you. You could ask how they found your brand, for instance, and then pour more investment into that marketing strategy. Or you could ask them what the most they would spend on X product might be. If they are representative of your larger customer base, then this information can prove invaluable. 7 Tips to Help You Grow Your Facebook Group Facebook groups provide a perfect direct line of communication with your most dedicated fans and followers. This has endless marketing potential for businesses, and it's something everyone should invest time into. But while a Facebook group is always useful, it's obviously going to be more useful if you have more members. In this presentation, we'll see seven ways you can get more people to your group. 1. Link to your page If you have a Facebook page, then make sure to link it to your new group via the settings menu. When you link a group to a page, the group will appear at the top of the page, which will make it easier for people to join up. 2. Change the settings Change the settings for your group to ensure that people can find it and join. You might want to turn off the requirement for new members to be approved, for instance, and ensure that your members are able to invite other new members. 3. Run contests Running contests to get new members is a great strategy that also increases engagement with your existing followers. Just tell your members that the person who brings in the most new members will win a free ebook, consultation, product, or similar. 4. Create moderators Moderators are members given some administrator powers over your group. They'll be able to invite new users, remove offending ones, and approve requests. More moderators means that you can keep your settings more stringent without increasing your workload as the group grows. 5. Make it secret Earlier, I said that you should make sure people can find your group in order to grow it. While this can work well, there is also some merit in making your group secret. Why? Because when a group is secret, your followers will need to join in order to see what has been posted. Sheer curiosity will attract a lot of new people. 6. Promote it from other platforms Your job is to make sure you are constantly mentioning your Facebook group. Don't place a link randomly on your website and leave it at that. Drop it conveniently into any post and you can make sure to keep it on the minds of your readers. 7. Use the right language Finally, when you mention your group, talk about it in ways that make it sound appealing. Words like exclusive, VIP, and private all have a way of making people eager to learn what the buzz is all about. How to increase engagement on your Facebook group Engagement. It's something of a buzzword when it comes to marketing, but it's also something that a lot of people aren't completely clear on. What precisely is engagement, and why does it matter anyway? Simply put, Engagement tells you how much people interact with your brand. Getting people to see your logo is easy, you just need advertising. But if someone comments, it means that they read what you had to say and they were interested. Facebook groups are all about engagement. Engagement in this context means conversation. 
and group chats are really what provide the bread and butter of the Facebook group experience. If you get enough engagement, then you can use a group to make die-hard, lifelong fans for your brand. Moreover, you can use it to create a group that will run itself, as conversations spark up and continue without the need for your involvement. Here's how you achieve more engagement. 1. Choose the right niche The best Facebook groups are those with a very specific niche. The more specific your niche, the more you will attract a certain kind of person. Those people will then have more shared experiences and thus have more things to write about and discuss with one another. Try and go narrow and deep rather than broad and shallow with this one. 2. Be involved Of course, it's also your job to make sure you encourage some interaction. To begin with, your group will very much depend on you to create and share content. So make sure you are leading the charge. Being involved yourself also means more than just posting new content. It can mean welcoming new members, for instance, and it can mean running contests. 3. Share the right content The best content to share on a Facebook group is that which will promote conversation. Find things that are exciting, new, unusual, and even controversial. Don't post generic content that everyone already knows. 4. Invite your friends Inviting friends is daunting for many business owners that want to keep their business and personal lives separate. However, having friends in your group will all but guarantee at least some activity early on. Find friends with the same interests and then chat in the group as you might do normally. This will provide great conversations as starting points for other new members to jump onto. And the natural camaraderie will be apparent. How to set up a Facebook group for business Are you thinking of creating a Facebook group for your business? Great! Facebook groups are among the most overlooked marketing tools on the web, and they have massive potential to help you grow your brand. The good news is that getting set up is really very simple too. Keep listening, and I'll show you the steps. Step 1. You'll first need to find the hamburger menu in the top right of the Facebook app, or the down arrow if you're using a browser on a PC. Now choose Find Groups, and then click the Create Group button on the far left-hand side. A pop-up window will open. Step 2. Now you can enter the name of your group. Choose something that accurately describes what your group is about and that caters to a very specific audience. Don't try to appeal to everyone or to be too broad. You'll end up appealing to no one at all. Step 3. Now add some people to your group to help get the discussions flowing. You'll need to enter at least two names or email addresses at this stage. But if you can enter more, then so much the better. Step 4. The next step is perhaps the one you need to give the most thought to. You'll now need to choose a privacy setting. There are three. Public. Anyone can discover your group and see what you have posted. Closed. Anyone can see the group and who created it. But only members will be able to see the content that gets posted. Secret. Only members will be able to discover the group at all. If your aim is to grow your group quickly to include lots of new members, then of course you want it to be public. Actually, though, it's often better to choose a secret group, as this way you can make it seem more exclusive and exciting. A lot of people will ask to join your group just because they'll want to see what's there. Step 5. Finally, click the Create button and you're good to go. There are many more settings to consider, but that's all you need to know to get your group up and running. The Difference Between Facebook Pages and Groups when it comes to marketing on Facebook, most people are familiar with how Facebook pages work. Facebook pages provide a kind of shop window or a flyer for brands. They provide a canvas where you can talk about your business, show off your portfolio, and potentially share posts and information from time to time. While Facebook pages are useful though, they are just one option. And the real power of this platform comes into play only once you understand this and start using multiple features at once to get your message across. Enter. The Facebook Group What is a Facebook Group? A Facebook Group is like a page in that it is a platform for your brand that can have lots of followers, or in this case, members. The members of your group will then be able to post in your group and will see the content you share. The idea of Facebook Groups when used by the general public is to present a place where they can discuss upcoming events and topics in a private forum. If you were to plan a stag party, for instance, you might start by creating a Facebook group and adding all the members who are going to be coming. 
Facebook groups therefore act in a much more direct and intimate manner as compared with Facebook pages. The Differences The differences go beyond the intended purpose, however. One big difference, for instance, is that a Facebook page allows people to share content. That will then be seen by their wider network. This is a great way for a brand to get more followers and to gain more and more likes. Facebook groups do not allow you to do this. That said, though, Facebook group posts are more likely to appear on the newsfeed than our Facebook page posts. That means you can more frequently contact the same person, and it means they'll see more of your content in general. Another difference is in the settings and options. A Facebook group can be set to secret, for instance, which means that only members will be able to see the content posted there, and other members won't be able to discover it by searching for the subject. Facebook groups are typically better for encouraging engaged and quiet chat between like-minded individuals, whereas Facebook pages are more commonly used as a jumping-off point for a business. The Pros and Cons of Starting a Facebook Group Facebook groups are just one of many options for businesses looking to market themselves online. They are just one of many options for businesses looking to market themselves on Facebook alone. With so many platforms and tools out there, no company can possibly include every single one of these in its strategy. So it all falls to you to decide which marketing strategies are the right ones. In this presentation, we'll take a look at the pros and cons of Facebook groups specifically to see whether they are a good option for your business. Pro, they're great for engagement. Facebook groups encourage a lot of engagement. They are ideal for encouraging communities to form around your business and for helping people feel like a part of something. That's amazing for getting people more invested in your brand. Con, they're not the best for organic growth. Facebook groups are often set to secret, meaning they can't be discovered in the feed. Even if yours is not, you will find it's less effective at organic growth than is a Facebook page. That's because Facebook page posts can be shared by your users to their broader networks. Facebook groups don't provide this option. Pro, they can run themselves. Eventually, a Facebook group will end up running itself. This is ideal if you want to step back and let your community grow without needing to do anything. Set some moderators and let your users create posts that they will fill with new content without your needing to raise a finger. Con, they require an upfront time investment. At least at first though, these groups will involve a time investment as you'll need to encourage new members, post content, and also moderate everything that happens. This can take a lot of work and especially if you need to approve new members. Pro, they're great for market research. With a Facebook group, you have a direct line of communication with the very people that buy your products. This can be ideal for learning about what attracted them to your business in the first place and informing future decisions. Con, they can hurt your branding. As mentioned, a Facebook group requires a little moderation. If you aren't doing this enough, then you might find that the conversation can at times become toxic. This is bad news because it can end up reflecting badly on your brand. So. Is a Facebook group right for you?